personal finance PowerPoint presentation. Treasury inflation protected securities or tips. Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Most of this information can be found at Investopedia Treasury Inflation Protected Securities Tips, which you can find online. Take a look at the references, resources, continue your research from there. This by James Chen, updated February 17th, 2022. In prior presentations, we've been taking a look at investment goals, investment strategies, investment tools, keeping them in mind. We're now asking, what are Treasury Inflation Protected Securities or TIPS? Treasury Inflation Protected Securities TIPS are a type of Treasury security issued by the U.S. government. So they're issued by the U.S. government. Therefore, as an investment, you would think they would be fairly secure. The government having the capacity and ability to uh, handle their debt obligations. TIPS are indexed to inflation in order to protect investors from a decline and the purchasing power of their money. So you oftentimes when we think about like fixed income type of investments from, say, the government, like treasury notes, treasury bills, treasury bonds, then we have kind of a, a fixed rate of return that gives us more exposure or a risk for, for the interest rate risk, which would mean that if we lock in the interest rate and then market rates go up, then we're not gonna, we won't have the money to basically uh, invest in those higher returns. In other words, if we had the money as interest rates go up, we might be able to invest in similar types of investments and get a higher return if the market rate goes up. However, if the market rate goes down, then we're actually benefiting from locking our returns in. So that's kind of how the normal process works. Now you might ask, well, then is there some way that I can get at least some fluctuation in uh in the returns and so now we've got the inflation protected securities which as the name suggests is trying to give some protection with regards to uh inflation which is the decline in the purchasing power of the dollar something that the u.s government kind of works into the system because remember the federal reserve is trying to aim for the dollar to be a fairly steady measuring tool that we can depend on but in order to do that they try to overshoot generally by like one to two to three percent for example so that means that the kind of stuff that you can purchase with a dollar is actually uh declining uh over time in order to try to handle the money supply would be the idea so as inflation rises which is generally the case rather than their yield increasing tips instead adjust in price principal amount in order uh, to maintain their real value so understanding treasury inflation protected securities so the principal value of tips rises as inflation rises. So inflation is the pace at which prices increase through the U.S. economy as measured by the consumer price index. So we're trying to measure the purchasing power of the dollar. Inflation becomes an issue when there isn't a commi commiserate rise in real wage growth to offset the negative effects of rising prices. So if you think about a place of inflation, you're going to say, OK, now it's costing more for me to purchase stuff. In order for me to compensate with that, I need to have a rise in the real wages growth in order to be able to be in the same standard of living to at least meet the rising uh, of the inflation. The cost of it is to buy the same stuff. So tips are a popular asset for both protecting portfolios from inflation as well as profiting from it because they pay interest every six months based on a fixed rate determined at the bonds auction. So that's similar to, you know, a lot of types of bonds where basically you're loaning the money in essence uh, to the government. You're going to get the money back. It's kind of like renting like a piece of property, for example, and you're going to get the rent on it, which is basically interest when you're thinking about renting money. And then you're going to get the principal back, which would be like kind of giving the apartment back, for example, in a rental situation, getting the money back. You're the one that is renting the money, loaning the money in essence. So, however, the interest payment amounts can vary since the rate is applied to the adjusted uh, principal or value of the bond. So now we've got a situation where, again, it's not quite fixed because you have you have the tips being inflation protected so it's it's going to have this adjustment to it instead of being a completely fixed income kind of situation or fixed return. If the principal amount is adjusted higher over time due to rising prices, the interest rate will be multiplied by the increased principal amount. As a result, investors receive higher interest or coupon payments 
as inflation rises. Conversely, investors will receive lower interest payments if deflation occurs. Deflation being the opposite of inflation, you would think that be less likely to happen because the, the government typically thinks that deflation is not good, so they try to shoot and overshoot the money supply to have the inflation uh, be at a very at a low level between like zero and three percent but again it could it could fluctuate because they get it wrong and they could get it wrong and they could still get it wrong so tips are issued with maturities of five ten and thirty years and are considered a low risk investment because the u.s government backs them so like with other types of uh, investments that are government backed you would expect it to be low risk because the government's not going to go out of business you would think if they were to default on their debts that would be very bad look for the for the government they got a printing press so you think they'd be able to meet their obligations at maturity tips return the adjusted principal or the original principal whichever is greater tips can be purchased directly from the government through the treasury direct system in 100 dollars increments with a minimum investment of 100 dollars and are available with 5 10 and 30 year maturities some investors prefer to get tips through a tips mutual fund or exchange traded etf so notice when you think about some of these instruments uh you might you might try to get exposure to them with uh, with a tool such as like an etf so purchasing tips directly however allows investors to avoid the management fees associated with mutual funds tips price relationship to inflation tips are important since they help combat inflation risk that erodes the yield of fixed rate bonds so notice if you have the fixed rate bonds inflation you know you got to account for basically inflation as you account for your investments whereas these are supposed to adjust with regards to inflation inflation risk is an issue because the interest rate paid on most bonds is fixed for the life of the bond so most bonds you have a fixed rate that you basically agreed upon so as a result the bonds interest payment might not keep up with inflation so if inflation starts to get out of control you didn't predict what was going to happen with inflation then a fixed rate bond is going to is going to cause you more problems possibly so for example if prices rise by three percent and an investor bond pays two percent the investor has a net loss in real terms again that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing per se i mean you'd like to be earning a return on it but sometimes of course you're investing in the fixed income something like bonds as a safeguard against possibly the market going down for example so if you had your money say in in equities and stocks and there's a downturn the market goes down it's possible that you're going to actually lose money right and and not not just you know actual dollars going down not just the value of the dollar going down whereas if you had your if you had hedged that some of that in bonds you may still be losing money given the fact of the purchasing power of the dollars but you're not actually losing you know the dollars the dollars are going down in purchasing power more than you're earning on them but there's still kind of a hedge against like stocks going down for example but tips are designed to protect investors from the adverse effects of rising prices over the life of the bond so the par value principle increases with inflation and decreases with deflation as measured by the cpi consumer price index so that's what they use to try to figure out inflation inflation's not a perfect number that we can calculate you know they, they're just trying to guess you know what is the purchasing power by by the market basis doing this cpi calculation when tips mature bondholders are paid the inflation adjusted principal or original principal whichever is greater suppose an investor owns one thousand dollars in tips at the end of the year with a coupon rate that's the interest basically of one percent if there is no inflation as measured by the cpi so they got this consumer price index no inflation the investor will receive ten dollars in coupon payments for that year so if inflation rises by two percent however the one thousand dollar principal will be adjusted upward by two percent to one thousand dollars one thousand twenty dollars the coupon rate will remain the same it's still one percent but it will be multiplied by the adjusted principal amount of one thousand twenty dollars to arrive at an interest payment of ten dollars and twenty cents for the year so you can see it's increased and it's not fixed so conversely if inflation was negative known as deflation that shouldn't happen too often that's a weird situation but it could happen so with prices falling five percent the principal would be adjusted downward to 950 
The resulting interest payment would be $9.50 over the year. However, at maturity, the investor would receive no less than the principal amount invested of $1,000 or an adjusted higher principal if applicable. So uh, the interest payment during the life of the bond are subject to being canceled based on lower principal amount in the event of deflation, but the investor is never at risk of losing the original principal if held to maturity. So you should, if you rent something out, you should get the original back, you know, at the end, just like if you rent the apartment back, you know, you should get the, it back. So in, if investors sell tips before maturity in the secondary market, they might receive less than the initial principal. So remember when you're dealing with bonds, if, if you buy it from the primary market, that means you're buying it from the issuer, in this case, the government, but you could then take that and sell it on the secondary market meaning now you're selling it to an investor to investor situation, or you could buy it on the secondary market and then you could have you know gains and losses related to the selling of the, it on the secondary market. So advantages and disadvantages of tips. Due to the ability to increase the principal along with inflation, the interest rate returned to investors is lower than would be available for a fixed income securities. The interest paid increases with an adjustment to the principal that these investments are nearly risk-free as the U.S. government backs the debt and the investor will receive the full price invested returned when the tip matures. The semi-annual inflation adjustments of a tips bond are considered taxable income by the IRS, even though investors won't see that money until they sell the bond or it reaches maturity. Some investors hold tips in tax-deferred retirement accounts to avoid tax complications. However, it's important that investors contact a tax professional to discuss any any uh, potential tax ramifications of investing in tips. Tips usually pay lower interest rates than other government or corporate securities, so they are not necessarily optimal for income investors. So, obviously when you're when you have something that's going to be backed by the US government, you would you would expect less risk, so you would think the government can then issue those bonds and pay less income on it given to given the high level of security. And the fact that you've got this cover against, you know, inflation to some degree would also mean that there's less risk to you, uh, and therefore you would, and, and therefore you would think that uh, that it would be you'd have a lesser of a return, right, on that as well because you, you're taking on less risk in general. So their advantage is mainly inflation protection. But if inflation is minimal or non-existent, their utility decreases. So if the Fed was doing their job and, ba and basically being able to keep uh, the inflation steady and the market was able to predict what's happening in the future, then you would think that people would feel secure possibly investing you know, elsewhere. It's, it's when people say, oh, inflation, if you feel like inflation is going to spike, the Fed gets out of control and there's a lot more volatility or potential risk than then you might put your money into tips even though the return might be lower because you're thinking that you want to safeguard against uh, this volatility that could happen. In a perfect world, you would think that the Fed's got it figured out, they got it locked down, they're not going to have these big spikes in inflation. But every time we think that, every, every 10 years or so, we realize we're not so smart and something happens. So in any case, another risk associated with tips is the previously mentioned uh, potential for a higher tax bill. So pros, the principal increase with inflation, meaning that at maturity, bondholders are paid the inflation adjusted principal. Investors will never be paid less than their original principal when tips mature. Interest payments increase as inflation increases since the rate is calculated based on the adjusted principal balance. The cons, interest rate offered is usually lower than most fixed income bonds that do not have an inflation adjustment because you're taking on less you're taking on less risk so you would think that you'd get a lesser return generally but you're safeguarded to some degree that's the trade-off investors might be subject to higher taxes on increased coupon payments if inflation does not uh, materialize while tips are held the utility of holding tips decreases so obviously it's kind of an insurance thing you're kind of buying tips most likely in the event that in that inflation happens so if it doesn't happen then yeah you could have put your but you're you're diversifying to put your money in the tips if you put your money in the tips and inflation spikes then that's the thing that you're trying to guard against so example of tips below is a comparison 
of the 10-year tips as compared to the 10-year Treasury note, both issued and auctioned by the U.S. Treasury Department. So Treasury note, T-notes, are intermediate term bonds maturing in two, three, five, seven, or 10 years. We discussed them in a prior presentation. They provide semi-annual interest payments. So they're gonna give you payments kind of like rent payments, but instead of monthly, semi-annually, twice a, a year, uh, at fixed coupons rates, the interest rate in essence. So as a historical example, on March 29th, 2019, the 10-year tips was auctioned with an interest rate of 0.875%. On the other hand, the 10-year treasury note was auctioned March 15th, 2019 with an interest rate of 2.625% uh, per year. So we can see that the 10-year note pays more interest, meaning the investor will receive higher coupon payments from the 10-year note as compared to the TIPS investment. However, if inflation rises, the principal on the TIPS will increase, allowing for the coupon payments to rise while the 10-year note is fixed for the life of the bond. So you're not gonna have any change on the, on the note. So although TIPS protect against inflation, the offset is typically a lower yield, basically return, uh, than bonds with similar maturities. So how can, how can I buy treasury tips? You can buy tips directly from the U.S. Treasury Department uh, Treasury Direct website with a minimum purchase of $100. You can also typically buy them through your broker. There are also several mutual funds and ETFs that invest in tips and other inflation-linked securities that you can buy and sell like ordinary shares of stock. Can I buy tips for my IRA? Yes. You can include tips and funds uh, that hold tips in an individual retirement account. That's an IRA, basically an umbrella that you're investing uh, over the investment of the tips, which means you're kind of restricted to taking the money out, but possibly getting, of course, tax benefits to put them under that kind of umbrella. However, you cannot use the Treasury Direct Service to buy them directly in an IRA. So you got to make sure that you're managing how you're going to get them in the format of your retirement account your IRA. Instead, you would need to rely on the broker holding your retirement account. So uh, what yield do tips have? Often the yields on tips are negative. This is because after taking into account the effects of inflation, the real yield is negative. For instance, uh, if standard two-year treasury yield 1%, but inflation is 2%, then the real yield is negative 1%. Tips are meant to keep up with inflation, not beat inflation. Thus, you can have a normal yield on tips that is positive, but a real yield that is effectively zero. Note that while the yield on tips may be negative, their principal value will increase with inflation, which can generate capital gains. So why does the Treasury issue tips? Tips first appeared in 1997, and uh, the official reason for their appearance is that there was strong demand from the investing public for inflation-linked government securities. So some economists, however, have been puzzled by the government's continued issuance of tips since they amount to a more expensive way to borrow than traditional treasuries. So what maturities do treasury tips come in? The original tips were set at 20-year maturity in 2009 uh, 20 year tips were discounted in favor of 30 year tips. The US Treasury presently issues five year, 10 year, and 30 year tips.